Insights here as we come late into the week. Meteorologist Matt Noyce, one degree outside weather network. So much to cover in this video. There's a lot going on. It is a truly dynamic weather pattern from a big ocean storm to severe storms that will be down across the southeast. We'll take a look at all of it here. And then a Monday storm that comes right over New England for that matter as well. Water vapor imagery. Water vapor, a great tracer in the atmosphere. Where is the moisture and it's kind of gaseous form? The white, the green, that's where you see the moisture. Look at this swirl. There is a ton of energy over Eastport, Maine right now. It is dropping down to the south and east. It is going to make a monster powerhouse storm southeast of the Scotian slopes over the next 24 hours. It's being driven by the jet stream winds aloft. Big dip in the jet stream called the trough. A lot of cold air, a lot of energy feeding into this. So while it's not necessarily tropical, it is nasty. I'll show you some of the wind gusts here in a minute, but 90 mile an hour wind gusts when you get southeast of the Scotian slopes coming up. We'll take a look together. The North Atlantic is going to be roiled out of this one. And then you've got a big ridge that tries to build in for the weekend. Gives you warmth, gives you a break in the weather. And here we go again. More energy digging in. This is what I mean about a dynamic weather pattern that sets up here across the eastern United States. You would think as this one digs in, does it stall like the coastal storm did last week in New England? No, because the next disturbance is racing in. Look at the fast jet stream winds coming across the central United States. That comes in again. So what this means is you finally have broken the weather pattern from being the kind of dry again and again pattern that led to drought. And now you're going to get a number of disturbances that come through instead. And it's made a difference, right? Seven inches of rain makes a difference. That's what came out of the last storm on portions of southeastern Mass, on Cape Cod in particular. So the drought's been erased in some parts of southeastern Mass. Now, we didn't get into that the farther north you go. Northern New England ended up with too much dry air. So as a result, the extreme drought has actually expanded across northern New England, including central and northern Vermont, basically lakes region north. Folks uh, with dug wells have seen their wells going dry. This has been a real impact. We need to change it. We will change it. I don't know that you're going to get a seven inch rainer like we did on the Cape here all at once, but we're going to change the pattern. Not at first. High pressure up and down the eastern seaboard. Looks like it's going to be fair for us. Again, we'll talk about that ocean storm in a second, but Friday, you've got temperatures that are running about 60 or so. It's breezy out of the north on the backside of that big ocean storm. So you get some gusts going 20, 30 miles an hour on Friday coming out of the north. And then notice Friday night, you've got enough cool, dry air. You're down below freezing for some, and most of us cold enough for Friday. Here we go Saturday. This is going to light up the storms across the southern plains and then eventually coming in through the Arklatex region. This is because you've got basically a flow of moisture from the south that meets up with the cold front. This means severe weather highlighted by the Storm Prediction Center. There may be some isolated tornadoes mixed in here as well, the way you've got that kind of a clash that's going on. And then by the time we get to Sunday, that all starts to move east and spread out as it becomes a larger storm system. We'll find the winds here in New England increasing on Sunday coming out of the south. So notice Saturday's highs are in the 60s, and by the time we get to Sunday, we actually will tickle 70s across New England, believe it or not, with that southerly wind. You'll wait on the rain to arrive till Sunday night and Monday. We'll get to that in a second. So high temperature Saturday running 60 to 65, a light northerly breeze. It becomes a gustier south wind on Sunday. Gusts may go all the way up to 30 and 35 miles per hour by Sunday afternoon, which bumps your high temperatures up to about 70. You can trace the moisture in the atmosphere in the forecast, and you can say, okay, there is the tap, right, coming out of the tropics and across the Yucatan, out of the Gulf, and that's what runs in to the thunderstorm generation across the southern United States. Well, by the time we get to Monday, it's a small ribbon, but you do get a little bit of that tropical moisture to come in here Monday, and that's why I say there may be thunderstorms, there should be downpours. That goes by a little break Tuesday, still an onshore wind, probably going to be kind of a raw feeling overall. Could be a shower, some drizzle here and there, but a general break. And then Wednesday, we looked at how the next jet stream disturbance starts moving in all over again. Believe it or not, right now, there are signs that you get some pretty decent rain that comes in on Monday because, again, it's quick, but you get that tropical tap and you may be able to get some thunderstorms. So I don't know that it's going to be this widespread, inch and a half to two inches. Notice, by the way, also already seeing signals of lesser rain the farther north you go. But remember, you at least have more chances, right? We go into Wednesday and the energy comes in again. This is that monster ocean storm I was telling you about during the course of Friday. Here's high pressure back behind it. And of course, the squeeze is what gets the wind blowing out of the north, right? That squeeze relaxes on Saturday 
And then Sunday, we start to get the squeeze out of the south and southwest. That increases the wind. By the time we get to Monday, and at around a range ready to blast on in here, the wind's going to be increasing out of the southeast. So that'll be something to watch. We don't think that will be exceptionally strong. Look at this, though. On the backside of this storm, you almost have a bit of a sting jet that comes in in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And what that tends to do is ramp up the intensity of the gusts. And so we're talking about maybe gusts over 90 on the backside of this storm. It is just nasty in the North Atlantic. Again, we are fortunate to be removed from that. Some of the waves get thrown back. And you can look at our coastal marine forecast that we offer for that. But... I will say that as we head into next week and that monster pulls away, here we go. First with, again, the increasing breeze Sunday. But by Monday, anything in in yellow is where we may gust over 40. So you may be able to do that out of the south and southeast on Monday. And if we do that, southeast is not a real familiar direction for us to gust from in New England. That could lead to some isolated power outages. Then we go northeasterly as the storm takes shape a little bit more. And again, the wind is not as strong heading into Tuesday, but it will be gusty anyway and kind of raw. If you want to see it all kind of unfold in the forecast, well, follow our videos, right? You can watch them all right in the app, but you can also get the 14-day forecast, all the hourly data that you need, live radar. That's all with the One Degree Outside Weather app. It's free and five stars on the App Store and Google Play. Don't forget, New England's only weather network, always streaming, OneDegreeOutside.live.